This Gimp Beginner's Guide is a follow-on from a previous guide where I showed you how to create fiery glowing text. In this guide, I'll show you how to create this fiery glowing silhouette from an ordinary photo using the same techniques as I did in the previous guide. So first I open the photo and then I right click on it in the layers panel and come down and left click on add alpha channel. Then I click on the free select tool in the toolbox and come down to the tool options and click on feather edges. And I'll leave the radius as it is. And now I'll quickly click around the bird to select it. And now I'm going to delete the background. So to do that, I click on Select in the menu bar and come down and click on Invert to select the background. And then I press Delete on my keyboard to delete it. And now I'll deselect it and stop the marching ants by clicking on Select in the menu bar again and coming down and clicking on None. Now I'll create a copy of this layer by clicking on the Create a Duplicate of the Layer button which is at the bottom of the layer panel. And now I'll add the glows. And to do that, I click on Filters in the menu bar and come down to Alpha to Logo and slide my cursor across and click on Alien Glow. Now, if the dialog box doesn't appear on your screen, look for a new GIMP button. And I've got Windows 7, and I can see that I've got a new button flashing in my taskbar. And when I click on it, the Alien Glow dialog box appears. Now, I'm going to change the glow size to 400 and the glow color to a red and click OK. Now I go to the layers panel and click on the top layer to select it and now I'll do the yellow. So I click on filters in the menu bar and this time I click on Reshow Alien Glow. And I'll change the glow size to 200 and the glow color to a yellowy orange. And click OK. Now I go back to the layers panel. And the third layer down should be a black layer. And I click on it to make sure it's selected. And then I come down and click on the Delete This Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel to delete it. Next, 
I click on the bottom layer in the Layers panel to select that. And then I come down to the bottom of that panel and click on the arrow that says Raise this layer one step. And repeatedly click it until the layer is at the top. And then I reduce the opacity of that layer to about 30. Now you can increase the intensity of the colours simply by duplicating or copying the layer. So I'll click on the red layer to select it and then come down to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the Create a Duplicate of this layer button. And you'll see that I've created a copy of the layer and it's really intensified the red colour. Now you can do the same thing with all sorts of photos. And here I use the same techniques with a photo of a rose. So I hope that's given you something to work on, but if you've got any problems, please leave a comment.